I'm Jake. And I'm Colin, and you're watching Gas Guzzlers. And this is the 2024 Ford F-150 Platinum. Is it still the king of pickup trucks? Let's find out. Colin, taking a look at the exterior of the F-150 Platinum. I'm kind of getting Palisade vibes from the way the lights go through the bumper here, but that's not a bad thing. I think the Palisade's a really handsome car. So is the Ford F-150. Uh, now, halogen lights are standard. Upper models are going to get LEDs. I think, though, that the halogens are just fine because, honestly, the lights on these trucks are just getting way too bright. Let's start here at the side of the F-150, and of course you have the classic trucker style window, so you can have your arm rested on the inside there, and look, super cool. You know what's not very trucker-like? It's really posh wheels. There's 12 different options. 12 wheel options? That's like, it's like 11 too many for me to choose from, but you know what is not very posh? You still need your trucker bed, right? That's the most important part of any truck three bed length options on the F-150. Five and a half, six and a half, or eight foot beds. Of course, we have the Super Crew here, so we are only going to get a short little baby bed. So Jake, on the side of the F-150 here, I noticed this little Power Boost logo. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so Power Boost is Ford's mild hybrid system. So it uses a three and a half liter V6 gas motor that's gonna be putting around uh, what, 430 horsepower, 570 pound-feet of torque when paired with the electrical system as well. And did you know that Ford owns 75% of the hybrid truck market between the Power Boost Hybrid and the Maverick Hybrid? Jake, that sounds really impressive, but isn't it only Toyota who's also making hybrid pickup trucks? Okay, yes, it is only Toyota, and yes, I love the Tundra, but the Tundra is a small seller in the market. However, 10% of Ford's F-150 sold are hybrids, and they want to double that number in the next year, so they brought price parity between the Power Boost and the normal 3.5 liter non-hybrid EcoBoost motor to try to encourage customers to go for that hybrid option. And you know what? No one else is doing hybrid trucks, except Toyota. We love you, Toyota, but you just don't sell that many Tundras. And you know what? Someone should be happy, right, that Ford's bringing this cool new technology to the full-size pickup market. If you're liking the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more weekly automotive content. All right, folks, let's get back into this F-150 review. All right, Colin, at the rear of the F-150, we have an enhanced tailgate. Now, um, honestly, I think this is kind of stupid because Ford used to have that cool tailgate. You know, it had the little step that you could pull out. Now we just have this kind of barn door opening mechanism. I mean, it's nice, like it has detents in it and all, but the problem is like, does it really make a difference if the door swings out sideways or opens normally? I just like the old fashioned step a lot more. I have to say, Jake, I strongly disagree with you on that point. I think this is far more useful because if you're a little shorter or have something really heavy, this just gives you easier access. And of course, you still have the step here, that old step and pull thing you mentioned. That's like old. That's from 2005, 2006. Does, does anybody that's, else remember yeah, that? Yeah, okay, wait. Ford says they invented that in 2006. They definitely invented that in like 2015 and are like gaslighting us all to believe they invented it in 2006. That's, has anyone seen a 2006 F-150 with the pull-out step? Let us know. But Colin, where is the magical new step? So the new step is right here. It's super easy. Just put your foot on it, pull down, and it's out. And this gives much easier access, in my opinion. And of course, if you have a trailer here, this is a lot easier to access also. So while it might seem simple compared to some of the other stuff, I think this is by far the best tailgate. Actually, I do kind of see how this could be kind of nice to use as a railing. And I'm like, that could be kind of useful. Okay, okay, Colin has convinced me. Let us know what you think about the tailgate in the comments below. Let's talk about the driver's area of the Ford F-150. Of course, you have power adjustable pedals. Just press this button right here to easily adjust the pedals to your liking. This is also the first time ever the Ford F-150 has had a heads-up display. You also have a fully digital gauge cluster and a 12-inch touchscreen. But Jake, tell them about this in the middle. This right here is your fold-out desk. You can see that we have this deployable little gear shifter. You can fold your gear shift down, bada-bing, bada-boom. You're on the work site, you put your computer here, and you are typing away writing your new novel about elephants. Now Colin Ford has brought all sorts of cool self-driving tech to the F-150. Now plenty of vehicles these days have cruise control, lane keep assist. Ford goes a step further. You get something called Blue Cruise 1.2 on the F-150. Now Blue Cruise is Ford's kind of hands-free self-driving system uh, comparable to GM Super Cruise sort of. But 
Blue Cruise 1.2 adds two new features for the F-150. First of all, you're getting lane change. So you just tap the turn signal, the F-150 is gonna figure it out, change lanes for you. Second of all, it's gonna have kind of smart lane placement. So what's that mean? Instead of staying in the, staying in the middle of the lane all the time, with Blue Cruise 1.2, the truck's gonna comfortably position you so that if, for example, a big semi comes up on your right side, the truck will hug the left side of your lane a little bit to give that semi some more breathing room. But Colin, Ford is also doing some cool stuff with trailers and given your new trucker aesthetic, uh, I think that's appropriate that you explain that to us. Yeah, so in the past, they've had the trailer backup assist. And what that does is you can use a little knob to turn and point the direction you wanna go. So the truck would automatically back up with the trailer on for you. But now they have the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist. And what that'll basically do is it'll line the truck up with the hitch for you using the cameras and radar in the back of the truck. The rear of the F-150 just reminds me how great it is to be in a full-size pickup truck rear seat area. This chair is all of the way back and I still have plenty of leg room. This is just superb, fantastic, whimsical, if you will. Uh, what else do we have going on back here? We got cup holders and we even have a little phone storage space, heated outboard seats, USB A port, USB C port, cigarette lighter port. Let's open up the middle. We're gonna find two little cup holders. We got quilted stitching back here because we're in the platinum. Guys, there is no better place than the rear of a domestic American pickup truck. You can just spread out. You know what else is just fanciful? All of the storage space back here. You have space not just for people, but also items. Look, you can flip up the seat and here you just have oodles of space. Jake, I know you've been talking about how good the front of the Platinum Edition looks, but have you seen the front of this Tremor Edition? Uh, Colin, this is a Platinum. No. Now yeah. here at the front of the Tremor, you can see this really aggressive front fascia. You have this coast to coast grill. And with this kind of orangish yellow color paired with it on the headlights, this looks so good. Yeah, but Colin, okay, the aesthetics are cool, but the Tremor, what is it? Is it, my understanding is it's kind of like, you don't quite want a Raptor for desert off-roading. This is a little more chill, but it still has some off-road cred. Is that right? That is 100% right. Let's start down here with the bumper. This is a modular bumper, so if you still want to have a nice practical road aesthetic, you don't need to put anything on here, but if you want your big front bull bars, you can attach those to this. You have the mono tube shocks in the front, twin tube in the rear, increased approach angle, and the one pedal trail control for that off-road cruise control. This is for life in the cornfields, as Ford describes it. So if you live in Nebraska, shout out our buddy Tim, this is the truck for you. Tim does live in a cornfield. He lives in Indiana, not a Nebraska cornfield, Indiana cornfield, also, but still a cornfield. R.I.P. Tim, R. I. P. he's not Tim. dead, he's just getting married. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jake, in years past, I didn't really see the hype for the Ford F-150, but this year, I think I really see it. Yeah, Colin, we asked with this review, is the Ford F-150 still the king of pickup trucks? I think undisputably, it still is. Ram used to have them on interior, not anymore. This interior is pretty darn nice. And the amount of features that we have seen on here with the new tailgate, with the folding desk in there, that's been a mainstay of the F-150 now, with the new HUD now. I mean, really the F-150 just comes with pretty much every feature you could possibly imagine. But as it should, you're gonna be paying what? 70, $80,000 for a model equipped like this. Thanks so much for watching our coverage of the 2024 New York Auto Show. I'm Jake. And I'm Colin. He's also a trucker. Colin Trucker, two things to beat you at once, I suppose. But this is his truck of choice, the 2024 Ford F-150. Guys, we will see you in next week's video. Stay safe.